Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King, and I'm live here every Wednesday, live at 5 on thinktechhawaii.com, as well as Think Tech, uh, on the Facebook channel of the Think Tech page. You know what to do. You know where you can find me every week. I'm always here. I'm so excited to see you guys this week. We're going to talk about all things hair and nails related. Hair, I'm sorry, not hair and nails, hair and body and beard related. I have a women, woman inventor that is joining us on our show today who created a wonderful product line that will help us all as we um, get ready for summer and make sure our hair is right, our body is well nourished, and our beard. So it's a little something for everyone. I want you to welcome with me our guest today for today's show, Abna Brew. Abna, thank you for joining us on At the Crossroads. Thank you for having me. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you for joining us here at the Crossroads. Please tell us a little bit about your line, your hair, body, and beard product line. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Abena Brew, and I am the owner of and the cosmetic chemist behind the natural hair, skin, and beard care line, Hair Brew. Here's one of the products here. This is actually the beard balm that I developed for men. So, as I said, it's all about hair, skin, and beards, nothing but natural ingredients. Uh, the motto here is no harsh ingredients, only brewed goodness. Uh, Look at that. I love I your product line. <laughs> We're looking at it on Thank the screen you. right now. So yes, now, yes. can you see what we're looking at? I can. Okay, Those perfect. are actually products that make up the deluxe beard kit. So uh, right now in the green container, that is the ginger citrus facial and beard scrub. In the brown bottle in the middle, that's the beard oil. And the container on the end, the tin, that is the brew beard balm. Uh, so all of the products, as I said, this make up, these make up the deluxe beard kit. And they pretty much take care of a man's needs from cleansing his beard with the scrub. It contains black soap. Um, to moisturizing with the beard balm, and then if he needs that additional shine, additional hydration, he has the oil, the natural oil, and all the products contain nothing but natural ingredients. Okay. And well, now I here, wanted, I wanted to go start ahead. off Sorry. with the men because we typically talk about things that we need for women. Right? We right. talk about all of our hair needs and how much we need for our skin. But at this time, we wanted to talk about men's products because if you haven't noticed, there is a huge need for men. Well, there is a huge growth in men's beards, right? Everywhere right. you look now, from movies and TV and everywhere else, <laughs> men are growing out their beards just as much as yes, women are, are interested in growing their hair long. Why do you think there right. is such a push for that? Um, so it's so funny. I will say um, growing up, my dad, he always had a beard. Um, he had a beard even when most men didn't. And I think... Um, in current times, I'm trying to think. I feel like Rick Ross may have really inspired the beard explosion that we're seeing. He was okay, like one of the so first. first. For those who don't know, Rick Ross is the um, <laughs> rapper, and he has a yes. full, glorious black beard that just looks so beautiful. I just want to touch it. Yes. <laughs> I know. Doesn't it look great? It does. Um, Very healthy. Yeah, but I think he is what he's the guy that inspired so many other men to grow their beards. Okay. Um, 
I know men from Philly, that's been a thing for a long time. But as far as someone famous that I believe kind of inspired a larger audience, I would say Rick Ross. So okay. if he sees this, Rick Ross, I'm giving you some credit. <laughs> <laughs> so he but, um, started or was a major lead in developing the mere men's beard movement. That's kind of hard to say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I would say it was him. Mm -hmm. um, but as guys started to grow their beards, they realized it's not an easy task. Right. You have um, split ends, like women, when we're growing our hair, split ends. You have I never dryness. would have thought of that. Yeah, there's so many things that go into beard care. And they noticed that it's not just, I'm going to grow a beard. You know, I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be this thick, lustrous, full beard. No, you'll have patches, like I said, split ends. You can even have um, ingrown hair. So a friend of mine who he started growing a beard, he saw that I was making products for hair. He said, listen, there's a movement going on. If you could create products for beards, specifically for beards, I know a lot of guys would love that. And I said, mm -hmm. you know what? He's right. So when I started to formulate my products for beards, I said it can't just be about the hair. Um, the skin has to be addressed as well, especially for black men. Uh, they tend to have ingrown hairs that cause bumps, flare-ups underneath that make it difficult for them to maintain a healthy beard. So as I said before, it's natural ingredients for sure, but blended in a way that not only moisturize, hydrate, strengthen, encourage growth, but also for the skin underneath to remain healthy. I love that. You said moisturize, strengthen, and encourage growth. Okay, yes. so those are the key uh, needs that you are able to meet with your products, yes. is what you're saying. Yes, okay. yes, most definitely. The okay. guys, they, they love how their beards feel. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had guys who had, you know, Semi nice beards, but they had maybe some some patches where hair wouldn't fill in. Mm -hmm. Their beards were able to fill in. They okay. were able to combat split ends. Yes, mm -hmm. they love the the scent. It's a nice light scent, nothing mm -hmm. too overpowering. Their beards have shine, and you know there's nothing sexier than a man with a great looking beard. So mm -hmm. they're thanking me for the love that they're getting from either their significant others or just random women on the street who are paying them compliments. Wonderful. So your yeah. hair brew has that product that is good for men who have mm -hmm. beards, who are growing them out. It helps them to yes. avoid hair patches as well mm -hmm. as bumps and all those mm -hmm. unsightly things that women don't like right. when they are looking at men's beards, right? Right. Correct. Okay. All right. So we'll keep that in mind for the men. They okay. can go to, they can find your products on hairbrew.com, is it? So it's hairbrewproducts with an S dot com. Perfect. Yes. All right, men, you heard it here first on At the Crossroads that you can find hairbrewproducts.com. You can go there for all of your beard needs as well as skin care, right? That's correct. All right. <laughs> now, on to the part that I like. <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> hair for ladies. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> please tell us, how, how long have you been in business, and what caused okay. you to invent this product? Okay. So, Hair Brew has been an official business since 2016, okay. but... In 2011, I went natural, and I was on a quest for quality hair products, not just products that gave me, you know, allowed me to do a style that I wanted. Like right now, you can see I have my curls going on. I did my wash and go earlier today, um, but products that really moisturize and improve the health of my hair. Okay. Um, you know, I had a relaxer since I was 13 years old, as many women, you know, have gotten relaxes at a very young age. I was trying to reverse the process that the damage, you know, the damage that was caused from chemical processing and heat. I wanted a product that could reverse that damage. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, and we just saw a that, picture sorry. of what looked like you had a relaxer in that last picture. No, Did so actually see? my hair was just uh, blow dried and flat ironed. And oh, that was okay. It. So that's my hair still in. Yeah, my hair is still in its natural state. And that okay. photo was from January. That just okay. Passed. Yeah. Um, but so what I found was there are so many products on the market that still contain ingredients that cause damage mm -hmm. to our hair. Right. Being in the cosmetic industry since 2001, having experience as a formulator, I said, you know what? Let me just do my research. There's more healthy ingredients out there besides shea butter and coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And I started making products for myself, um, family members, friends, people at my gym who saw my hair and commented how great it looked. They questioned what I was using. I was making samples for people. They loved the samples. They loved how the products worked in their hair, and they encouraged me to, to sell. And that's how Hair Brew was born, pretty much. Wonderful. You know, so I think it was back in 2000 when I went natural for the first time. And there were a few people online who were um, demonstrating new products and saying, oh, put this with that, and it should work. And nothing worked for me like it worked for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Did you also have that experience? The same experience. I use products that if I did a wash and go an hour after I had left the house, my hair looked like I stuffed my finger in the socket mm -hmm. or, same. you know, flaking if I combined a few products together or shampoos that made my hair feel like straw. It was really terrible. Yeah. 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 And so for those who don't know, when we talk about hair in its natural state, we're talking about not using chemical relaxers. So when I first came here, I found, and here is in Hawaii, where we had some humidity because of the ocean and all that good stuff. But that's when I first found out that Japanese women also got relaxers. And so it was so surprising to me. I had never heard of that before. I never even thought about it because it already looks like they had straight hair. And uh, I quickly found out that they also get permanent relaxers and that their products are just as harsh on their hair as our products are on our hair. Uh, but I was natural at the time, so I didn't worry about it. Listen, we're going to take a very quick break, and we're going to come and talk to you just a little bit more, and we'll let all of our viewers know how they can get your products for healthy, beautiful, natural skin and hair. Okay? Perfect. We'll be right yeah. back. Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. <coughs> Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming. Salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, 
we want to teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha and welcome back. You're watching At the Crossroads and I'm your host, Keisha King. This whole month we've been talking about the power of women as we celebrate Women's History Month. And today we have a powerful inventor and businesswoman extraordinaire. <laughs> we have <laughs> Abna Brew. So she is joining us to talk about her product, Hair Brew. Abna, welcome back. Hi, hello. <laughs> hey there. So tell us now, where do you see your product line going in the future? So my vision for Hair Brew is to be available in stores. You know, as I said before, I sell online now, but it would be great to be sold in stores so that it's more accessible to a larger audience. And I mean... It would be great if one of the larger companies wanted to acquire my business. Keep me on, still on staff because I believe it's important to remain a part of the hair brew, the hair brew line, so that I can um, pretty much, you know, see, make sure that it it stays true to why it was created. Natural ingredients. Um, really there for the people. A lot of times, smaller lines will be purchased by bigger companies and the formulas will be changed and the products aren't as good as when they first started. And my dream for Hair Brew is to reach a, lar a larger audience but still remain true to why it was created. Um, all about improving hair health, skin health, and beard health. Excellent. I think that is a perfect way to end it. I love what you're doing. I love your product line and what you Thank stand you. for. And if people would like to purchase your products right now, please tell them your website and how they can order. And uh, we'll be sure to make uh, that message known to everyone. Okay, great. So if you would like to order hair brew products, the website is www.hairbrewproducts.com. I am on Instagram at Hair Brew. I'm also on Facebook at Hair Brew. And if you have any questions, always reach out, hairbrewproducts at gmail.com. I answer all questions. You know, a lot of people sometimes aren't sure what to order, questions about their hair, questions about beards. I'm always available to provide insight. Excellent. You are amazing. Thank you for Thank everything you. that you're doing. Keep the no product problem. line the same. When you're in Target and in Walmart <laughs> and all those big stores, I want to buy the products and I want to support you and I want to make sure that um, everyone else knows about it. So thank you again so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's totally my pleasure. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Abana, thank you so much for being with us today. The products that you've created and the, uh, the work that you're doing, it makes a huge difference in all of the communities where hair and skin and beard products are needed. Thank you for inventing a product that meets the needs of so many people. You are a powerful woman, inventor and businesswoman. Thank you so much. Aloha. <laughs> well, as we conclude this Women's History Month, we have had shows about women inventors, women in business, women in our community, women as lawyers, and we've studied all, as many, not all, but as many great women in history. This month has been thrilling and exciting right here at the crossroads. We've talked about almost every aspect of our daily lives. It has been a pleasure to do so. I thank all the women who came and participated on the show this month. And I'm looking forward to more great stories about the women who are making a difference in our community. It could be you or someone you know. The goal is not only to remain relevant and actively involved in our community, but to think of those who are coming behind us. 
Right now, we have women in Congress. We have women sitting on the benches of some of the most prestigious courts in the nation. We have women in politics. We have women in the schoolhouses, which is a very traditional place to be. No matter what your role, as a woman, it is your duty, your responsibility, and your privilege to think about the women who are coming behind you and the legacy that you want to leave for them. My mom always says, God does one thing for many different reasons. And as an ode to her, I'd like to say thank you, mom, for paving the way for me and my brothers and sisters for all the wonderful things that you've taught us over the years. My mom is still with us living in Texas, and I just want to give her a special shout out because she was one of the first women who I could look to for all of the guidance that I needed throughout my life. She has been an ins inspiration to many. And so while I honored many different women this month, I want to especially honor her. My dear darling mother, Sheila. I called her by her first name and I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> Listen, I want you to thank your mom and thank all the women around you who have made a difference in your life. They matter. Remind them of this and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for joining me today on At the Crossroads and I hope to see you again next week where our conversations are both real and relevant. Aloha.